It's a better balance of baby. Can you say that 10 times fast? No shoes. Have these little piglets out to play and no weights. We are just doing functional strength training today and we're starting on the ground. Join me. You can sit in an easy pose, half lotus or a full lotus, whatever is comfortable for you. Whichever leg in front, also okay. If you've got a heart rate monitor, pick something like functional strength training, not traditional, so no weights. All about movement of the body, controlling of the body, controlling of the body, does that make any sense? Okay, well, you know what I'm saying. Let me find it, functional strength training. And to keep track of life, here we go. Yeah, start up the music, because it's a flip-flop week. Good job. All right. Push back into 
a deep primal squat for me, and then just rock it out side to side. Alright, just opening up the hips here, having some movement in the torso. Beautiful job. Find yourself in the center, and then come to standing. That's it. Roll those shoulders up and back. Nice big inhale, look at your hands as they fall and pray above the head. Exhale down through the center. Two more times. Big inhale, look at your hands. Down through the center. One more time, big inhale. All right, exhale down through the center. All right, we're about five minutes into our warm up. We're going to start our lower body strength training. Come down into chair pose. Now look at your feet, make sure they are even, spread your toes, remember we want to wake up the little piggy, now chest up, butt down, hold it, nice, now we're not coming up just yet, we're going to start to pulse, just little movements here, Back to the wall behind you. So we start engaging those glutes. Excellent, come on. Give me another couple seconds. And hold it still. We're nearly there. Lift the chest, butt back. Nearly, nearly. Hands back to the hips. Stand it up. You can have it like this, up to you. Let's go. Ten. Working that right side only. Stay in the right leg. Five more. Push down and back. Two more. Good. One more. Now, down and hold. So we're like in that one leg. Keep that weight off the left leg. That leg is just there for a little bit of support and balance. Nice job. Bring it up. Other side. Ten air squats. Thank you. 
like hip width, half raises. Yes, the brain needs a 
visual connection. Lift and spread. Are you ready? A few more seconds here, but now you'll put all the toes down. Just the pinky toe down. 30 second hold. All the other toes stay up. Yes, you're going to feel the outside of your arch start working. You might even start feeling your calves. Lift, lift all the toes but the pinky toes. Lift and spread. 15 more seconds here. Now I'm trying to spread that one there. He's being a little naughty and not listening. Good. In three, two, lift all the toes. Now we're going to put him down. Pinky foot. Ten. Lift all. Pinky foot. Nine. Up. Eight. Up. Seven. Up. Six. Up. Pinky foot. All of them. Back. Up. Good. Pull the toes up. That's it. That's it. Now put all the toes down. All right. Okay. Last thing we're going to do with the foot and then we're pretty much done. We are going to put the big toe down and the pinky toe down only. Can you have the other toes up? Now maybe it helps if you lift. Try. Come on. See, my pinky toe just lifted there. I'm going to try and push him down. Yes. Nearly there, nearly there. Oh, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. Reset, reset, and release. Shake it out. Roll it over onto all fours. Proud of you. I hope you felt your feet. Good. All right. We're going to stay on our knees. We're going to start some upper body training. Hands wide. Give me 10 push-ups. Are you ready? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, all the way down and up, 2, good job. Now hold it here. Now if you're on your knees, lift up onto your feet, hands are really wide. Suck the belly in. Hold it. Just a hold. Are you ready? Walking the hands in and then back out. So right hand in, left hand in, right hand out, left hand out. That's one. That. Bring it back in. Good. Hold it here. Now left hand first. Left, right. That's one. Left hand goes first this time. Two. Three. Two more. So elbows go back and close to the body. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. Good job. Push it up. Hold it here. Shoulder tap. Ten. Nine. 
Leading with the right hand, come back into plank. Give me four more of those. Four. Three. Two. Forty seconds left. One more. Now let's lead with the left hand. Left hand first. Same thing. We have five. We have four. Really good for the joint. Really good for the wrist. Three. Two. Give me one more and stay down and hop up. We're going to hold it for about 15 seconds. Make sure your shoulders are above the elbows. We are done the upper body. That brings us to about 15 minutes of lower body, 10 minutes of upper body. Good job, relax, just lay it flat. Take a moment. Oh. Proud of you. Oh, can you push back into child pose for me, please?
heavy in the right hand. You want to lean and lean. So we're working with mobility in the spine, as well as strengthening the core, particularly the obliques in this.
So if you're on your left elbow, you're lifting that right hand, you're twisting, turning the body. Push your hips forward, shoulders back. Excellent, release it. Now the knee down, same thing, same stretch for the knee down. Excellent job. Good. Roll it into a cobra or sphinx. This is more sphinx because we're going to stay on the elbow. Push the chest up. Drop the head back. Beautiful job. Come up onto your hands and push back into child pose. All right, so we're going to rock forward and back from child pose into half runner's lunge. All right, so let's rock forward, drive that right leg forward. Hold it here for a second. Push back into child pose. Good. Do it again. Same right leg. Back into child pose. One more time on that right leg. Beautiful job, stay here. All right, take that right leg out to the right side. Place the foot flat on the ground. Walk the hands over to the left and then lift the right hand off the ground. Beautiful job. Come back to all fours, however you get there. Push back into child pose, now the left side. Rock forward, half run as lunge. Oop. My foot got stuck on my mat. All right, push back child pose. Two more times, same left leg. That's it, rock forward. Come into that half run as lunge. One more time, push back into child pose. Come into that half run as lunge on the left. Hold it here. Take our left leg to the side. Place the left foot flat on the ground. Walk your hands over to the right. Lift your left hand. Nice job. Come back to all fours. Good. Tuck your toes. Down dog. Walk the dog this time. Bending one knee at a time. Nod your head yes. Nod your head no. Walk your hands to your feet so you come into a nice forward fold. Grab anything below the knee. Pull yourself down. Hold it here. Bend your knees and roll it up. Beautiful. Big inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Big inhale. Exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Nice job. Look at your hands as they clasp up over the head, down through the heart of the mat. Thank you very much. Maybe I should say thank you very much with my toes. Awesome job. I hope you enjoyed that better balance. Have a fabulous day.